Hi everyone, so on today's video we're looking at Nasdaq and the US 30. So I'm on the weekly chart on Nasdaq and then we have a slow here and then it's high here. And then we have like some type of a descending channel like this. So let's switch to the four hours so that I can see like everything clearly so on the daily chart we have like a few uh, structures that we can use and then this descending channel has like uh, two touches at the top and two touches like at the bottom I think we will get like a, a touch around like this area here that I was trying to extend right about there we can get like a, a touch like around this area just because we had like a double top around here showing us that momentum is to downside and then we have like uh, another descending channel a pattern like within a pattern let me just do this I'll just refine everything like on the lower 10 frames then let's switch to the 4 hour and then we'll get to like the entry types that we can get uh, maybe today so let me just refine it yes. like i'm refining it like in a way that it makes sense to everyone so we have like this type of structure and then i can cater for that double top around this area and then we had like structures within structures around here does and then i think uh it's reacting to this like uh, value area that we have drawn like on the uh higher time frames of which is this one here the double bottom or the lower time frames low lower time frame low so let's switch back to the four hour and it's reacting to that and then we have like another high value area around this area here so this is where nasdaq is at the moment and then I think we will get like some more cells just because we have two incomplete patterns. We have this one around here, it's incomplete just because we have two, one, two, we have one, two. So I think the market is reacting to this area just to push to the downside, give us a third touch and then maybe get reactions from there to push to the upside. Um, and then like that, uh, we have like another scenario that I'm looking at of which is that we reach like the third touch as I said for the outer structures of which it will be in line with the pattern with an A pattern around this area here. If we reach like this area, we get like two a third touch within that uh, larger pattern and the smaller pattern within that larger pattern. Switching to the hour chart, that is where you'll see that Nasdaq can push to the downside. And then if it doesn't push to the downside, what we wait for is that uh, we get like a break around uh, this certain area around here. We get a nice break and come back to the test. And then we push to the upside up until this area here, of which we are targeting like the 90% rule of which is around this pattern here we target that 90 percent rule and then we can take our long tool put it here and then we aim for that 90 percent rule our stop loss just below uh, we will be following like structure so that we can get like our stop loss just because it can be like this uh low around here and then we have like our stop loss like this but if we get like price section around here we can use that price section as our stop loss and then let's look at uh it was 30. So I've already drawn up like everything, but I'll just remove it. And let's switch to the daily. Refresh everything. And we have the slow here. And then the reason why I'm using the slow is because people are caught in the wrong side around this area. And then if you zoom out, you'll see that we have like a double bottom in there. 
and then another thing that we can use is that we have like this larger structure descending channel or an expanding i think we can call it an expanding just because uh, around here it's a bit it's a bit squeezed up and then around this area it's trying to expand a bit so we can call it an expanding and then switching to the four hour see that we are approaching we are coming back to that so this is our clear double bottom and then you'll see that we are coming back to the outer structures around this area here so when it, when price reaches like the outer structures we have like two options those two options will be price breaking this area the outer structures coming back to retest and then push back to the upside and then another scenario would be we are going to respect this ascending channel here as you all know an ascending channel is a reversal pattern to the downside so we can respect it and push to the downside uh so let me just do this we have two scenarios we can come back break this area here break, come back and retest and then look for certain opportunities until this area or we break the same area and we push to the upside up until we reach the 90 percent so i think that is it for our nasdaq and your and then i'll see you on another video please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell if you're taking value from this channel and i'll see you on another video